Papa, man. Welcome back to the channel, man. Listen, man. Let me tell y'all something, man. I'm in a, I'm in ride share mode. I'm Ubering, and lifting, and all that good stuff. Let me tell y'all what just happened to me, man. I got totally embarrassed. Not so much embarrassed, but I got called out. And uh, quite frankly, the passenger is right. It's just that uh, y'all know that old saying about mechanics drive the worst cars or they take forever to fix their own car. That's me. Because I'm cool with... Okay, here's what happened. On my dashboard, there's a couple of lights on, a couple of warning lights, nothing to worry about. At least for me, it's not. Well, anyway, passenger get in, a group of passengers. Uh, it was like four of them, maybe. They get in. And why? I have a minivan. Why one of them always got to run to the front and beyond me? Because I got room for five back there. But the first thing she do is lean her head over to my side and look at my dash. Now, I'm thinking maybe she um, looking to see how much gas I got. Are we going to make it? Because in the past, she probably been burnt and uh, you know ran out of gas. But she looks at my dash and can visibly see <laughs> that my check engine light is on. My check engine light on. She have a problem with that. Now, I think I'm going to get reported tonight, but... Uh, and in some cases, that can be a problem. It depends on the code. I already know why my check engine light on. It's nothing major. And I did a video on this earlier about uh, some codes, yes, you need to shut it down. If you got a P0300, you need to shut it down. If you got a P0456, something crazy like um, EVAP leak because you left your gas cap a little loose, then yeah, you can live with that and drive. In some cases, after a couple of global good trips that checking the light will go off on its own depending on the car maker and the car manufacturer you know the way they got designed but in my case i know why the light on it is very minor but the mere fact that that bulb is lit the passenger had a problem with that now i assured the passenger that we're gonna be okay it's okay i got it under control i'm a mechanic look i got patches on now <laughs> That made it worse because she started drilling me on about if you a mechanic, why are you riding around? I understand. I understand people have safety issues and uh, they really want to know if they're going to make it to their destination safely. And I assured her we would. Uh, I, I dropped them off uh, about 15 minutes ago. So that's on my mind. I'm sure they're going to call or she's going to call and report it. Now, I'm gonna do something about it. Uh, when I get to the shop Monday, I'm gonna take care of that. The light gonna go off and be back to square one. But uh, not just my uh, check engine light on, my uh, tire light was on. My tire light is on. Now, I know why that's on. That's not because I have low, t low tire pressure. That's because uh, I don't have a sensor in one of my wheels, so it's not picking up a wheel. But they don't know that. All they see is the warning lights and they think it's a problem. So. Uh, word of advice, man. If you got uh, warning lights on your dash, you might want to get it taken care of because there are some passengers out there that really care about stuff like this and uh, it really concerns them. And don't dog out the passenger because, again, they have a point to be concerned about their safety. I have no problem with her questioning me on that and uh, suggesting that I get it fixed. I will. So... Again, I want to keep this video short. If that's your case, get it fixed, man. Get it fixed. All right, I got to go, man. I'm going to keep this video short. Thanks for watching. Get that dashboard. Get the warning lights off. And uh, drive safe out there, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later.